So in 2008, Apple released the iPhone 3G. It had many new features over the previous iPhone 2G, such as a new sleek design and, of course, 3G cellular network. It also introduced iPhone OS 2.0, aka iOS 2.0. It also came in two different colors, a black and a white. Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today we are going to be finding out is the iPhone 3G still usable in 2018? <laughs> So kicking things off with app compatibility, as you would expect from a phone from 2008, not many apps are compatible. Google might be compatible, it's compatible on my iPhone 4 on iOS 4, but I did not feel like going to try to download it because the app store is super stinking slow. So app compatibility is a real issue on the iPhone 3G in 2018. Next we are going to do a Safari test. I could not actually get Apple to load and that just shows how old this phone is. Instead I was able to get YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and search my channel and see if it works. Okay, so here's my channel. It actually loaded, surprisingly. I wasn't sure what to think. I wasn't sure if it was going to load or not. So we're going to click on my latest video and see if it can actually play it or not. And if it can, how well and how loud is the volume. So, let's see. Oh, it is playing, finally. Took it quite a minute to load it, but it is playing now. There's my intro. Let's see if it can turn landscape. It doesn't... Oh, it does. I was about to say it doesn't. So how loud does this get? So... I know y'all probably can't hear the actual volume. But it's not too bad. It's nothing like an iPhone 6 or anything like that. Or my iPod Touch 6. It gets pretty loud. But this is full volume, as you can see. But at least it works, right? So Apple.com does not load. YouTube does load. So Safari is kind of usable. I'm sure if you had to use it, you could. It would just be extremely slow. Moving on to messages, you cannot actually use iMessage, meaning you cannot sign in with your iCloud. You have to use a phone number, and I do not have a SIM card in this thing, which will go in the top. But I don't have a SIM card, so we cannot test iMessage, or not iMessage, we cannot test messages today. And I actually just noticed this, the ticking on the clock is not present here in iOS 4, it just sits still. But here in iOS 10, as you can see on the clock icon, the red hand is actually moving. It does not do that on the iPhone 3G. Now let's test the camera application and see how well it can actually take photos. So here we have the camera up and I'm going to try to take a picture of this iPhone 3G. It's so laggy. I mean 2G. Okay, there it went. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of blurry. I'm actually going to take another one. And there is no autofocus, but you can zoom, which is actually really smooth, surprisingly. But there is no autofocus, so you just have to hope that it's focused right, I guess, or it's in, within the right length. So that's the photo. I mean, it's pretty decent, but in 2018, that camera is not near as good as a modern smartphone is. Last thing we're going to test today is YouTube, and as you may know, it, the YouTube on the old iOSs that YouTube was built into does not work anymore, as you can see. So YouTube doesn't work either. So this pretty much concludes our video. Is the iPhone 3G still usable in 2018? Not really, just like the iPhone 2G over there, because there's no apps that are compatible. Safari is really slow. YouTube doesn't work. You can't even use iMessage. So unless you absolutely have to, I would not recommend using the iPhone 3G in 2018. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please leave a like down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.